Hey people on YouTube, this is Dos Amigos DNZ, and I'm going to teach you guys how to create a Nintendo NES controller necklace. And I have here a original NES controller. Oh yeah, and I believe it actually still works. If I was Mario, I would be dead. What we need is an NES controller. This one happens to have the cord on it. Um, I'm not going to be cutting it off. You will need a flathead screwdriver. Well, you probably don't need a flathead, depends what type of screw you use. A Phillips screwdriver, or a regular one. A chain, and this one's already pre-cut. And some new screws that the chain will fit around. It's kind of hard to see that there, camera's fuzzy, I need to get a new one. Now this is what the Phillips head screwdriver, uh, flathead, flathead screwdriver's for. So what you do first, is you remove the screws that you want to hang the chain on. I'm going to do this screw, and this screw. Uh, we, let's start unscrewing. Zoom in here and get up close and see what we're doing. Screw number one. You're insane. You're losing life. And unscrew number two. Zoom back out. Now once you have these two screws removed, right here and here, you might want to put your hand. A few taps. There's one. Uh, I hate it when screws never come out. Find a safe spot to put these. I'm going to put mine on a Wii remote with a little rubber piece so it doesn't fall out. If you need to, just try to unscrew it some more. And pop it out. That was getting annoying. There we go. Put the other one safe also. And what you want to do is take your chain, take one end, and if you can, well you should, fit the chain, one end of the chain around one end of the screw. You want to put one end on the right side, and you don't want to put it in too tight because you still want the NES controller to remain in somewhat good condition. Just put it in enough so that it is secure. You wiggle it around a little bit, make sure it doesn't come out. Take the other end. I mean, you can, I'm taking a pretty long chain here, so it like hangs down to right about my belt level. Put it in there. Screw it in. Just enough so that it doesn't come out. And now you have a fully functional, semi-strong NES controller. And you probably, if you have a junk controller, you probably want to take the cord out. Um, I didn't because I still want to use this as a regular controller, but you just pop, take all the rest of the screws out, pop it open, and unsolder the connections. Um, but there you go. Now you look styling. You know you're rocking from the 80s. If um, if anyone sees you with this, all right, click the subscribe, leave comments down below, and you know just watch out for our other videos because they will be coming. See you guys later.